So in this video, we are going to learn how to add order details of Swell to Google Sheet. Now suppose guys, you have created your e-commerce store using Swell and you are selling some products online. Now you want, whenever you receive a new order on your Swell store, you want to add those order details into a Google Sheet. Now let me tell you guys, you can completely automate this process. So the trigger of this automation will be receiving a new order on our e-commerce store which you have created using Swell. And the action will be addition of those new order details as a new row into our Google Sheet. So now guys, how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Public Connect's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get the free sign up link of Public Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Public Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give your workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Swell to Google Sheets. And then just click on create. Now we can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and the second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with the trigger window. So the idea here is first we have to get the details or the data of new orders which we are receiving on our Swell store in Pabli Connect. So we are going to connect our Swell store, our Swell account with Pabli Connect and get the new order details. Then after that using Pabli Connect, we will be sending those new order details, that data to Google Sheet to add that data as a new row over there. So let's begin. Now here in trigger window in choose app, search for swell, select swell over here. And then in trigger event from the drop down, select order created. So here, this is the trigger event of order created because we want to capture that particular data. Just select it. And after selecting a trigger event, probably can it give us a webhook URL. Now we are going to use this webhook URL to make the connection between swell and probably connect. Now how we are going to make this connection. Just copy this webhook URL from here and follow the help text given below over here. Now guys, to connect our Swell store with Pabli Connect using this webhook URL, we just have to go to the homepage of our Swell store and after reaching to the homepage from the left side, we can see an option named as developer. Just click on it and under developer, just click on webhooks. After clicking on webhooks, you will reach to this page and at this page, just scroll down and click on this add webhook button. Paste the webhook URL over here in this webhook URL section. Just ignore the allies and description. And here under events in the drop down below, we can see a long list of different events over here. And out of all of these events, we have to select the event as order.created. Just select this event. If you have any kind of doubt or confusion regarding selecting the event, you can just refer to the help text and it is clearly mentioned over here. So after selecting our event, just click on save and then click on this save changes button. So now we can see that we have successfully connected our Swell account with Pabli Connect using this webhook URL. And now every time we will receive a new order in our Swell store, automatically the details of the new order will be received inside Pabli Connect workflow. And guys, we are going to do the same. We are going to visit our Swell store and here we are going to place a test order. For example, here I have a product that is named as what I know about running coffee shop. So this is a book basically and it costs $35. Let's place an order for this product. Let's open it, add to cart and then let's proceed to checkout. Let's enter the email address of a dummy user. For example, this is the email address. Now let's enter the name. For example, the customer who is placing the order is named as dummy user. Let's enter the address city for example, Bhopal, country is India, let's select, let's select the state and enter the zip code as well. The phone number, so I'm going to enter a dummy phone number. And then let's click on continue to shipping method. Select standard shipping or any kind of shipping method you have. Let's enter the details of a test card. So the details, this payment card, this credit card is basically a test card. Okay, and click on complete order. So now we can see that using this test details, using the details of this test user, we have just now placed an order on our Swell store. 
and because we have connected our swell store with Pavli Connect, we will see that the details of the same order will be captured inside Pavli Connect workflow as well. So let's get back to Pavli Connect. And yes, guys, we can see that instantly as this order was placed, as we received a new order on our swell store, automatically the details of this order is been received inside Pavli Connect. So here guys, you can see that we have the type that for what type of event we have received the data. So we have received the data for order dot created. Then after that, we have the order ID. Then we will scroll down. We have the date and time that at what date and time we have received the order. Then we will scroll down further and we will see some other details regarding the order as well. Like we have the name of the customer, the mobile number of the customer, post names, last name as separate values. We have the address of the customer as well. Then we will scroll down and we will see other details regarding the shipping, like what was the shipping cost, so data shipment price. So this was the shipping cost. We selected for the $5 shipping, the standard shipping. Then we will scroll down further and we will see the details of the product as well. So this is the product which we have ordered. This is the product ID. That's the total price of the product. Then we will scroll down and we will see that all the details regarding this order has been received inside Pavli Connect. So every time we will receive a new order in Swell Store, automatically those data will be received inside Pavli Connect. Now this means the step one of setting up this automation is completed. Now let's move to step two and send this data to Google Sheet. For that, just scroll down and come to our action window. And here in Choose App, search for Google Sheets. Select Google Sheets over here. And after that, in Action Event from the drop down, select Add New Row. Click on Connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our Google Sheets account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, just click on this connect with Google Sheets button, select your Google Sheets account. And after that, just scroll down and click on continue. And as you click on continue, we will see our Google Sheets account gets connected with Pavli Connect. After connecting our Google Sheet, the first thing it asks us is to select the spreadsheet. So in the drop down below, we can see a list of all the spreadsheets which we have created in our Google Sheets account can be seen over here. And out of all of these spreadsheets, the spreadsheet in which we want to add our new order details is named as Swell Store Orders. So this is a spreadsheet which I have created. So I will be selecting this spreadsheet over here. After selecting the spreadsheet, it is asking us to select the sheet. So in the drop down below, you can only see sheet one because right now in this spreadsheet, I have only one sheet named as sheet one. So if you have multiple sheets into a particular spreadsheet, then you can select any sheet in which you want to add the data over here. After this guys, all the columns of data, all the headers which we have created in our Google Sheet can be seen over here in Pavli Connect as a new fields. So here guys, the first field which we have is of date. And in this date field, we wanted to mention the date on which we have received the order, the date and the time. And here from swell of a new order details, we have received the date and time of the order. So we will be mapping the same response of date and time over here in this field. Let's click here and in the drop down below, select the response of date created. So here in this drop down, you will see all the data, all the responses which you have received from swell of a new order, out of which select the date as date created. Then let's map the order ID and the process of mapping stays the same. Just click on this field and from the drop down below, select the response of order ID and map it. And we have to follow the same process for other fields as well. Let's search for name over here and let's map the name of the customer. After that, let's map the mobile number. Let's search for the response of mobile number. This is it. Just select it and map it. Now one by one, we have to map the address. So here in this address section, guys, first we are going to map the their street, their city, like the address one, city, state, country, and then zip code. So let's map the shipping address one first over here. Let's add a comma. After this, let's map this city. So this is the city. Then after that, like we will be mapping the response of state. So this is the state. Then at last, let's map the response of country. So the response of country is this. And after a hyphen, let's map this zip code as well. So this is the response of zip code. So in this way, if you want, you can add the data or map the data of multiple responses into a single field as well. Now let's map the product name that for what product we have received the order. So let's search for item over here. And this is the product name. Just select it and map it. Then let's map the quantity quantity, total quantity of this product, the price of this product. So 
the price of the product was $35. So this is the total price. And then let's map the shipping cost. So we have also received the shipping cost. This is the data shipping price. Just select it and map it. And at last, let's map the total cost as well. So this is the grind total with including shipping cost and price of the product. And that's it. So these are some basic fields which I have created in my Google Sheet. If you want, you can increase or decrease the number of fields over here as well and follow their respective data in those fields. And the process of mapping, as you all can see, is the same. After mapping this data, just click on Save and Send Test Request. After clicking on Save and Send Test Request, here we can see that we have received some response. And in this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the data which we have mapped, basically the order details which we have received from Swell, is now added as a new row into a Google Sheet. So let's check our Google Sheet. And yes, guys, here you can see that we have received some same data of a new order from our Swell order details into the Google Sheet. So we have the same name of the customer, the same detail, the same product name, as you can see over here. Then we have the same quantity, price, shipping cost, and total, and also the same details of the customer. So in this way, guys, we can see that we have successfully created this automation using which whenever we will receive a new order in our Swell store, automatically that the details of these orders will be added as a new row into a Google Sheet. So after this, guys, after setting up this automation, let's test this automation once in the real time. So let's get back to our store and this time let's add us some new product. For example, this V60 paper filter. Let's order it. it this product costs $6.5. Let's proceed to checkout. This time let's enter the details of a new user. For example, this is the email address. Let's enter the name. For example, this time the name of the user is test Pabli. Then let's enter the address. For example, H1 City, Mumbai. Country is India, for sure. State is Maharashtra. And the zip code. I don't know, actually, I don't know the zip code. So I'm just entering some random number. Some random phone number of a customer. And then just click on continue to shipping. Continue to payment. Once again, let's enter the test card details. And then let's complete the order. And yes, guys, here we can see that we have just now received another order on our Swell store. And because we have created this automation, we will see that instantly, automatically, this order details will be added as a new row into a Google Sheet. So let's go to a Google Sheet. And yes, guys, here in a new row, you can see that the same details, the same date and time on which we have placed the order, the same order ID, the same customer name, whose name we have entered while placing the order, same mobile number, same address, same product which we have ordered, quantity, price, shipping cost, and total cost. So these are the same details, guys. The same order details are now added as a new row into a Google Sheet. This means the automation workflow which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. Now, every time we are going to receive a new order in our Swell store, automatically the details of that order will be added in a Google Sheet as a new row. So guys, not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications using Pavli Connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account. And guys, Pavli Connect offers a forever free plan. And in this plan, you will get free tasks every month into your own Pavli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestion, and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.